Today I'm going to show you how to use this step sequencer on Ableton Push 2, which is probably one of the easiest ways to start making beats. So I'm going to show you from the very beginning. Um, I've just opened up a new session. This is what it's going to look like. For our purposes right now, I'm just going to go ahead and delete these tracks. I'm selecting it, pushing delete, just so we have our one MIDI track. And I'm basically not going to need to use my computer after this um, because I'm going to do it all on the hardware. So I'm going to go on to my push and push browse. I want to get a drum set. So under this section, MIDI, you're going to go down to drums with this knob at the top, turning it clockwise. Um, the preview is on for all these drums, which is cool. So you can hear, I'm gonna, I like this one um, around the corner. So I'm gonna select that and I'm just gonna go over here and push load. Okay, so once we've gotten into, once we've loaded it, um, this section, of our push is going to be our drum pads. This section over here is going to be our loop selector. And this entire region on the top half is our step sequencer. So um, if you've taken any music theory, um, even if you haven't, it's not that hard to understand. Each beat, we're gonna break up into four sections. So one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So each of these pads is one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So it takes two rows of pads to give you one bar. Okay, so all I have to do to start this is I'm going to select, you can hear all your sounds on here. So I'm going to start with my kick drum. Okay, so as soon as I put it in, it, the sequence is going to start playing. And I want to do a do, go, cha, go, cha, do, go, cha, go, cha. So I think this is also a little fast, so it's really easy to change your tempo. You're just going to go up to the knob above tap tempo and I'm going to just turn, I'm going to go to 105. Okay, so it sounds a bit weird right now because we don't have anything else going on. So I'm going to find a snare that I like. That's a cool snare. And in most music, like pop music, R&B music, um, that's gonna go on the two and four. So I'm gonna put it on my two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I actually noticed that I made a mistake in my kick drum. So what I can do is just click on my kick drum here. I see that I put one extra kick on the beat four that I don't want, so I'm just gonna unclick it and it goes away. Okay, cool, so I'm happy with that. Um, I also want to layer my snare. So I'm gonna take this sound right here and just also put it on the two and the four. So it's just gonna give my snare a little bit more layer. Okay, so now I need some kind of hi-hat. So again, I can go through, check it out. There's kind of a cool bell on here that I like. So I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna put it on, um, you can either put it on the 16th note or the eighth note. I'm gonna put it on the eighth note for now. So one and two and, or I can just kind of do it quickly and, Okay, and for this beat, I want to give it a little bit of swing. So I'm going to go above my metronome and I'm going to turn my swing amount up to about 20%. So again, that was, I just took this knob above my metronome. Okay, cool. So 
This is a super basic beat. This is cool. Um, but now I want to add a couple things to it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click double loop right here. And what you can see now is that it doubled the amount of lit up buttons I have here. So before it was just these two, now I have four. And if I click on clip here, it's also now showing me I have a four bar loop. So what if I want my loop to kind of develop and not, um, not start everything at once? I'm gonna just take my two fingers and click on, on these two buttons. Um, because I only want to affect bars three and four right now. I want to leave bars one and two alone. Um, I think the sound is kind of cool. So I'm going to put this on beats one and beats three. Now, I also think it's a little bit um, low in the mix. So what I can do, if you want to change the volume or the length of anything, um, in your beat, you're just gonna select it in the step sequencer. So I'm going to put my fingers on these. And you can see it's brought up those two elements of the beat. So first of all, I think it'd be nice if they were a little longer. So I'm gonna change the length to be four steps. And I'm also gonna up the velocity so they're a little louder. I also think it could be cool if they were a bit behind the beat. So I'm gonna go back and just touch these and I'm just gonna nudge it so it starts just not quite right on the beat. Okay, cool. And then I'm gonna just check out my other elements here. This is kind of a unique sound. So I'm just going to put it um, at the end. Texture. Okay, so now if I want to hear my whole beat with this new stuff I added, I'm going to just select the first pad and the last pad of my whole loop, and then I'm going to get to hear the whole thing. Oh, it has to get to the end. So now, whichever one is green is what it's playing. And now my extra texture is in there. Okay, so now you have a beat and you can continue to duplicate, add on to what you have, um, and this is a cool way to make your first beat on Ableton Push 2.0.